All right, so this video is going to be on setting up differential thrust for your Lancaster on the orange TX-10i radio. It's actually not as hard as a lot of people think it is. Um, it's been made out to be a really, really difficult situation. It's not. It's not really that bad at all. Um, so I'm going to get close-ups on the radio to show you exactly how you do it, but basically what you're going to do is you have to separate the throttle channels. So you have two separate throttle channels. On this setup, throttle is on channel 3. Uh, from the radio. So one channel is plugged into three and I have the other channel plugged into six. So three and six are my throttle channels. So the first mix I would set up is mix one I would set up three into six. And again I'll get a close-up on the radio and show you how to do that. Once you have that mix set up then you're going to mix in rudder into the channels. So you're going to mix mix two will be rudder into channel three and then mix three will be rudder into channel six. So again my throttle channels are three and six. So the next mixes will be three into uh, rudder into three and rudder into six. So again, just to sum those up, the first mix is to set the throttles together. So you have mix one is set channel three, throttle on the left side, to channel six, throttle on the right side. Then you next set up rudder into channel three for the left and rudder into channel six for the right. And you'll be able to, using the rudder channel, be able to steer the plane. Okay, and that helps you maintain the low angles of uh, banking, just like the real planes do, more scale. Um, it helps you on the ground if you don't have a steerable tailwheel going on. So uh, a lot of advantages to it. Um, the plane flies perfectly fine without it. And uh, you may have already heard that the plane flies perfectly well on even just two motors. So uh, if you're at the field and you break a prop and nope, you don't have a spare, just take them off, set up the two outside motors, take the two inside props off, fly the plane. It'll fly just fine. <laughs> you can refer to Stuart's video on that. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, so let me get the close-ups on the radio, show you how to set up those mixes. All right, so here we go. Let me walk through this. On this model, I already have the mixes set up, so I'll just show you how they all look. Mix one is going from three to six, and again, that just gets our throttles working. And I'll show you what that looks like in the display. When I throttle up, both throttles go. Okay, that's what we want. All right, aux one is just my retracts. So that's up and down on the retracts. All right, so let's go back. Mix two shows that channel four is mixed into three. Channel four is the rudder, so that's mixed into the one, one throttle channel. So when I throttle up and rudder, you can see right now I'm at mid throttle, so there's nothing showing, but it's easy to show you that. So you can see rudder is moving, and you can see the motors going the other way, the throttles going the other way. Okay? And mix three, again, is just the other side. Now you have to make sure that you reverse the one side. Depending on how you have your model set up, you might have to reverse the other side than the one I have. But right now, for me, channel six is reversed, at least the mix going in. So if you look at the positive and negative mixes right here, you can see where to set those up. It might take some experimentation to get it quite right, but that's all you gotta do. So mix one is 100 and 100, okay? We want that full. Mix two is plus 20 on the positive, and mix three is minus 20 on the negative. And again, that just gets the proper amount of offset. You can adjust the offset up or down if you like more or less uh, rudder movement to control the throttles. Uh, for me, 20% was just about right. Maybe 25, get a little more aggressive on it. All right, so if I were to start from scratch, I would go like this, okay? I'd go to mixes and I'd set mix one to on. Master, again, my first main throttle is channel three. The second one is channel six. Set that. Positive and negative both go to 100, because I want full movement. I want those to match exactly. Long press to save, and we should see, there we go, full movement on both throttles. Okay, now we'll set up the next mix. And this is going to be mix two. I'm going to turn that on. And rudder is channel four, so we're going to mix that into channel three, which is our first throttle channel. We're going to lower that to 20%. And we're going to lower this to zero. Uh, 
Okay, and we'll go back into the display here. And let's throttle up to about half. And now you'll see when I move the rudder, you can see that channel 3 is increased. Okay? And so that means that the wing with the channel 3 throttles is going to increase, which is exactly what we want. Now, we set up one more mix. Mix 3 is on. Master is channel 4. Again, that's the rudder. And we're going to go to our next channel, throttle channel, which is 6. The positive mix will be 0. And the negative mix is going to be negative 20. Okay. Go to display. Throttle up to about half. Okay. And there you go. That's to the right. And you'll see the throttle on channel 3 goes up a bit. And we go to the right, uh, the left, sorry, and channel 6 goes up a little bit. So there you have it. Differential thrust on an orange TX-10i. All right, so now you're going to notice that I've removed my props. First thing you should do when you're setting up anything related to motors on your planes, okay? Just take the props off. If you're calibrating ESCs, take the props off. I learned this from experience, I'm sure a lot of us did, that uh, if something goes wrong, you actually bump the throttle and all of a sudden your plane goes and attacks your pets or something like that or destroys your workshop. We don't want that. Take the props off, it takes two minutes, not even, and uh, it's just much, much safer that way. So let's power up the plane and I'll just give you an, just show you what uh, differential thrust sounds like. Okay, so when I throttle up, okay, you can hear they're, they're going. I don't know if this will come through on the video very well, but uh, I'll try to demonstrate it. I hope that came through on the video, because it's kind of hard to hear, but you can hear the pitch of the motors going up and down depending on which side you've pushed. So if you steer to the right, the left motor should go up because you want the motors on the left to push the plane to the right. And if you want the plane to go to the left, you want the right motors to go up and push the plane to the left. So just make sure you have that correct. If you need to change it in the radio, just go ahead and do that. It's quite simple. Um, and that's basically it for setting up differential thrust for a Lancaster or really any multi-engine plane on an Orange TX-10i. All right, now let's do the same thing with the RadioMaster TX-16S. All right, so I'm gonna just show you how this is all set up. Right now I have a model that has this set up now, so I'm gonna show you in the monitors that when I throttle up, okay, got channel three and channel seven on this radio are my throttles. Okay, there they go, they're both mixed in together. Okay, and when I increase one right now, nothing's going on, so I have it on a switch. So I flick the switch, and now you can see the values of the, thr the rudder is changing the throttles as well. And that's what you want. Okay. All right, I'm going to start with a new model here just to show you how this goes. It's very, very simple. You go to the models page, page over. You can see my inputs there rudder, elevator, throttle, and aileron. That's all I need for now. And then my mixes page, you'll see the same lineup plus the addition of the extra throttle channel. Okay, and that's being fed from the throttle stick, obviously. Simple as that. You just add that in there and just make sure you have the source correct. So to set up the differential, whoops, you just scroll down to the first throttle channel and insert after. And you can give it a name if you want. I don't feel I need to, so I'm going to scroll down. The source we want to be rudder, so I just move the rudder while I'm in the source page or source box. And then I knock the weight down to about 20, let's say. That's a good place to start. And we want this on a switch. So I'm going to set it on switch SE, and so when it's in the middle of the switch, that is going to activate the differential or the mix, okay? So then we go down to our other throttle channel, and we do the same thing. Insert after. We don't have to give it a name. We do have to make sure that the source is rudder. And on this one, we want the weight to be minus 20, just because it has to go the other way. That's a bit too far. Well. Wow. All right, so minus 20 on that. 
And again, we want to set that on a switch as well. So, SE. Okay. And that's it. So when we look at our monitors, you can see that when the switch is off, and I throttle up a little more than halfway, you can see that it's not changing. It's changing a little bit, but that's just because my hand is moving the throttle stick a little bit. But you can see it's not changing. So then I come back down, I turn the switch on, throttle up, and you can see it's definitely changing now. Okay. And that just indicates that the throttle, the rudder is mixed into the throttle, and when you move the rudder stick, it increases the throttle on one side or the other. That's about it. And that's how you program differential thrust for a multi-motor model like a Lancaster or any others um, on the Radio Master TX16S and the Orange TX10i. Both of these radios are feature-packed with all kinds of good stuff, differential thrust being one of them. And uh, in particular, the Radio Master TX16S has a wealth of features with, uh, since it has OpenTX programming. I encourage anyone that's new to OpenTX to go online and search OpenTX University and other resources to find out more about using the vast <laughs> feature count of OpenTX. It's just unfathomable how much you can do with these radios. And um, of course, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us on support. We have live chat 24-7 and our support ticket system through email. And also stay in touch with us on Facebook, Instagram, and all our social media with concerns, comments, com compliments, whatever you've got. Let's hear it. All right, so until then, signing off.